Okay, so first question, uh, who is MVHS? What is their role in all of this? So MVHS um, is obviously a lot of our employers. Uh, we work for this medical system, uh, comprises St. Elizabeth and St. Luke's and Faxton. Um, a number of months ago, they've laid off over 800 staff um, over system-wide. They've taken tons of people um, away from the care areas and patients are currently suffering. Nurses are suffering, healthcare techs are suffering, people are suffering inside of the hospital because there's not the staff um, to do all the work to make sure people are safe. And did MVHS receive bailout money from the government? Yeah, they first received over nine million, um, I believe, over nine million and then 14 million uh, or more thereafter. So they've had quite a bit of bailout money. I believe the uh, in Darlene's Digest, it said that they spent that $14.8 or $9 million on uh, making good on their bond covenants. And is it only nurses that they're laying off, or is it other people? Nope, there are healthcare technicians, respiratory therapists, dietary, housekeeping, um, all really everybody on the bottom, all the frontline staff is who got cut. The, I have yet to hear one story about a, a top person being cut, um, one of the people who makes six figures. I haven't heard that now once. So okay. Yeah. And, um, and what are some of the specific risks to the general public, to the patients, when you're getting cut? So if you think about it, if you or your loved one is in the hospital and normally that nurse who is taking care of your family member would be caring for about four to five patients on a reg regular medical surgical floor. Um, because we've had so many people cut, um, and so many people actually leaving now because of the dire circumstances in the hospital. Um, we have nurses who are taking care of seven, eight, and nine patients on a shift. Now that's all being done while there's not even, you know, sometimes there's one healthcare technician for a floor of 30 people. Sometimes there's no healthcare technician for 30 people. So when you think about that, a nurse who normally has four or five patients, they're now taking on three or four additional patients. That's huge amounts of time away from the patients. It's taking away um, from the critical thinking aspect that comes with nursing, um, all the checks and balances that occur, uh, the, the dotting the I's, the crossing the T's, all those uh, little things that nurses and healthcare technicians do. It's taking tons of time away from the patients. Um, negative things are happening. People are falling in the hospital. That's something that's a never event. You never want a patient to fall in the hospital, but you know, many nurses have told us that there are huge increases in the number of falls, you know, directly related to the fact that they just can't be there and there's no healthcare technician and nobody to be there for them. So, you know, that's just one of many, many things that's happening, but um, people are really not getting the care that they deserve. And, you know, just to point it out that your bill is going to be the same today with the very poor staffing and um, our inability to really provide you with the quality and safety that you deserve in the community, um, you're gonna pay the same amount today as you did six months ago and six months down the road. So you don't get a discount for you know not getting the care you deserve. And, and the $64,000 question, um, if there's another outbreak of COVID-19, do you believe you have enough adequate staff to deal with it? We definitely, definitely don't. Um, that's a huge concern. I'm, really concerned at that, you know, I think we all know that it's bound to come back. So um, when this first all rolled out, uh, the hospital made some decisions based on the governor's recommendations. And I don't know that they were necessarily fiscally responsible um, when they did that. And instead of uh, increasing our chances of being able to care for our community safely, they actually sort of threw that out the window and sort of just spent their money and um, put us in a really very difficult situation. So I think we're gonna continue to see that. Um, I think it's probably gonna get worse because people are very nervous about even working here right now. Um, they're afraid for their licenses. They're putting out um, protests of assignment every day, every shift. I just did on my last shift. It was extremely dangerous because I didn't have enough staff. So if we get huge surges of patients for any reason, um, and it could be any number of things, obviously, not just coronavirus. Um, but if that happens, we are definitely not prepared, in my view. Okay, thank you very much. You've been very helpful. Thanks. All right.